Hey there gang, Piano Man Steve Lundgren here and welcome to uh, this series of videos I've made in my free Total Beginners Piano Toolkit. Or what do I call it? The, the Total Total Beginners Toolkit for Piano Players. Uh, you know, it's on my website. It says something about Total Beginners and a toolkit and you'll be able to find it. Go to PianoManSteve.com <laughs> Sorry, lousy memory, but <clears throat> what I am here to do in this very short session is for those of you who are unfamiliar, I'm going to tell you what the names of the notes are because that's the first building block that you have to have for anything that you do with the piano. You need to know, at least if you're going to take my lessons, you have to know what a C is when I say C on an F when I say F. So that's what we're going to look at today. This is your C. I want you to pay attention to the way the piano looks. As you look throughout the keyboard, I'm going to kind of focus out for a second, you'll notice that there's repetition. Uh, I think it's easiest to see the repetition when you look at the black keys. Uh, if you'll notice there's two, and then three, and then two, and then three, and then two, and then three, and then two, and then three, all the way up. There is a succession of notes that just keeps getting repeated. There are 12 notes total, and it's from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then you repeat this note. Notice how it's right before you have two black note, black keys, and right next to each other. That's the same note name as this, which is also right before two black keys, and that's the same note name as this. And the same note name as this, and this, and this. So the piano is configured in a very repetitive way. I'm going to scoot back in here and we're going to look at these 12 notes. So what we're going to be looking at is from here to here and all of the notes in between. This is C. Okay? Now I don't know why th there are A, B, C, D, E, and F, and G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and then there are what we call sharps and flats, which I'll get into, and other than that, there's nothing. So I don't know why C is the popular place to start. You know, if I had been writing this from scratch, I would have probably called it an A. But I didn't get the chance to do it. It was done years and years before I was ever born, so this is C, and I'll explain in subsequent videos why C is a big deal. Um, but we're not ready for that. We're just going through the names of the notes. So this is your C. The next white key up is a D. The next white key up is an E. Are you noticing a pattern here? C, up a white key, D, up a white key, E, up a white key, could you guess? F. That's right. C, D, E, F. Take a crack at what this one might be. That's right. G. And then from there it kind of starts over and you're on A, B, and then you're back to C. So watch that again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then you're back to C. Okay? So that's where you're at. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now let's take a look at these black keys in between. What are they called? These are not given their own letters. That's another thing I might have done differently. I might have just said A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. But again, they didn't consult with me. What they call these keys in between is they are either a sharp or a flat. A sharp means that it's just barely higher than the white key below it. A flat means it's just barely lower than the white key above it. Okay, so in other words, this note, this black key is in between a C and a D. And I will explain in other short videos on other topics why it has two potential names and when it's called one versus the other. But it can either be a C sharp because you have sharped this note. 
or it can be a D flat because you've flatted that note. Okay, so C sharp or D flat. Sharp looks like a pound sign on your phone, a flat looks like a little lowercase b. So, um, anyway, so we have C, C sharp, or D flat. D, now guess what? We had D and E here, so this note in between is going to be either a D sharp or an E flat. D sharp or E flat. <clears throat> now, this black key here is in between an F and a G. So it's slightly higher than an F, so it could be an F sharp. Slightly lower than a G, it could be a G flat. This black key is in between a G and an A which means slightly higher than a G, making it possibly a G sharp. Slightly lower than an A, making it possibly an A flat. And finally, this key here is in between an A and a B, which means it's slightly higher than an A, so it could be an A sharp. Slightly lower than a B, it could be a B flat. So, let me run through all 12 of them again, real quick here, so you can see this C, C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F. F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat, A, A sharp or B flat, B, and you're back to C. Okay? And all the way across your piano, as I said, when you look at the whole scheme, anytime you come down here, you've started, you have your two black keys right next to each other, that's a C. So it's C, C sharp, D flat, D, e, D sharp, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G flat, G, G sharp, A flat, A, A sharp, B flat, B, C, and right back to it. So we have 12 notes that have been recycled a lot of times throughout your keyboard. All right. Um, in fact, and most the standard pianos, 88 keys. This is not really important, to be honest with you, because a lot of people are going to be learning this on keyboards that have either 76 or maybe 61 keys. It doesn't matter um, because the notes, the names of the notes, and what they're referring to are the same. But a standard piano has 88 keys, and when you take that means you have seven full octaves. Okay, because 12 times 7, and an octave is from one note to the same note, the next one up. So C to C here, that's an octave. So you get all 12 notes in there and you start on the next one. So a standard piano has 7 full octaves, which is 84 keys, because 7 times 12 is 84. And then there are 4 additionals um, on a typical piano. So, which are, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, we definitely have, uh, well, actually, yeah, because that's 88 keys. So you start on a low A, which this happens to be a 76 key piano, but I'll show you. It starts on a low A, which is an octave below here, and it goes A, B flat or A sharp, B, and then you start on C, and then from there you have... C, 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 and there's a high C at the very end of the piano. So that's your full piano range. Um, it's not important to have all of them necessarily. I think you can play around that. Uh, I go and play gigs all the time on smaller keyboards and that. But those are your 12 notes. Those, that's the most, build, the most basic building block of music. And, of course, if you want to know more about 
any of this stuff, just head over to my musical terms glossary that I'm constantly updating and adding right here on my website, pianomansteve.com, and you can look up and see a little definition of anything, whether it be note, pitch, interval, octave, you name it. Uh, those are all things that you'll learn about also here in the uh, toolkit. So, see you in the next video.